I'm joined by Penelope Darling, a Hollywood agent uh, who's been representing uh, canines with a bark since 1939. Penelope, welcome. Thank you, Gary. I'm delighted to be here. How did you get started uh, as a dog agent? Well, actually, it's a, it's a family business. My my great aunt Mame started the uh, started the company when she first represented Pavlov's dog Carl, a Russian Wolfhound. Um, as you know, the whole stimulation, you know, Pavlov's dog hearing the bell. Well, it was such a hit in Russia. Auntie Mame brought um, Carl over to the States to play the palace. And then, of course, Carl defected, uh, much to the dismay of the Soviet government, and um, he became our first big client. And uh, there the whole dynasty was founded. Huh, fascinating. Now, you're working on a book, a book called Ladies and Their Trends. That's correct. Uh, celebrity canine clients that you represent. That's right. It's a famous dog profile. Can you give us a, little, uh, a few juicy stories? Well, certainly. Just to kind of whet the appetite of your audience. Um, of course, Benji. Benji was a sad case. I mean, it's, you know, the old typical too much too soon type of story. I mean, he had his fame so early and, um, you know, he spent his money unwisely. I mean, frankly, between you and I and your audience, it all went up the snout. Flea powder. He sometimes, snorted. sometimes ten times a day. Benji snorted flea right powder. Right up the nose. And then, of course, he uh, lost a rather unfortunate bar bet, and um, he had to be neutered. So mm. it was uh, quite a sad, sad saga. Now, I understand Rin Tin Tin, yes. one of my favorites, uh, had a severe prostate condition. Well. And uh, mm -hmm. he was always making, I guess, frequent trips to fire hydrants and so forth, and the, uh, the TV show would go over budget. And uh, at one point, uh, uh, the producers actually had to catheterize the poor beast. Well, you know, actually, his uh, his press agent Saul tried to keep that out of the press. It was uh, it was personally kind of painful for me because I discovered Rin Tin Tin, and um, I try not to touch him in, in respect to his widow. What about the Lassies? Well, there were seven, as you know. I believe I believe your earlier guest mentioned that, and. Um, it was rather, rather an unfortunate uh, route that they chose to go and that they, they practiced inbreeding among the lassies. And uh, so they went through them rather quickly and of course this made them rather dim-witted. And of course there was the great laddie scandal of 1984 and um, you know, finally they went to the male of the species and of course uh, you know, laddie went into the Betty Ford clinic and mm, it just... Yeah. Um, How about Old bad. Yeller? Well, that, of course, is the most tragic story in Hollywood because Old Yeller had, uh, once again, so much promise, but uh, his press went to his head. And, of course, Disney was to blame for this because they touted him so as the great new fine, you know, the biggest, biggest, uh, you know, thing around since Toto, you know, in Wizard of Oz. And um, so Old Yeller just started making one demand after another, uh, hourly walks, uh, bigger water dishes with each picture, and finally, he demanded an indoor tree inside his trailer. And uh, so, of course, the uh, rumor was that when they finally made the big film, Old Yeller, yes. it was in fact a snuff film. <laughs> Boy, that's and you know, I, I went to the press on this and Disney was so embittered that you know, of course, when they made 101 Dalmatians, Cruella de Vil was based on me. Didn't you know that? I, I had heard rumors. Yeah. And it was, it was just um, such a low blow. But I had to say what had to be said. Old Yeller couldn't rest otherwise. Yeah. Say, where do you go about recruiting fresh talent? Oh, well, well, as you know, because a dog's lifespan isn't all that long. Um, Twelve years. Twelve years. years, yes. Well, actually, I mean, we went through three Alpo dogs during the run of The Tonight Show alone. And um, uh, Bob, Dave Letterman's dog, was going to have his own late night bark show. But, of course, that's another story. I digress. Um, new talent. We go to Pounds, of course, yes. and um, uh, that's always a good source. Also, on Monday nights, the Tail and the Pup have an open mic night that's well, quite good. They? Yes, yeah. And as a matter of fact, we discovered Hooch, a Turner and Hooch yes. there. Turner, uh, he was just a mutt, but uh, he really worked hard. He held down two jobs. He worked part-time as a police dog, and then late nights, he would clean up scraps outside of Michelli's in North Hollywood when we found him and turned his entire life around. The things you do around. in this business, huh? Yeah. yeah uh, now, great. you prefer purebreds, though, That's right? true. That's true. I mean, 
Hooch was the exception. I mean, uh, we're thinking of branching out the agency to doing doggy act extras and stunt pups, mm -hmm. but primarily we're a purebred, spirit top of the line agency. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. How do you encourage? or motivate your clients? Oh, well, we like to rub their tummies, you know, uh -huh. and um, provide gourmet dog food like Alpo, yeah. and um, also a lot of extra milk bones help. And then also, one uh, little incentive I like to do is we'll be going in the BMW to the audition, and we'll roll down the windows so they can hang their head out, and, uh, you know, they get more exposure that way, too. Right. Plus, they enjoy it. Right. Now, you know, uh, Penelope, you, you've shed some light uh, for, for me and the audience on an intriguing subject. Uh, it's fascinating. Yeah. Tidbits. I believe you're the first dog agent I've, I've met. And uh, the best. Right. <laughs> but it's remarkable. You're an intelligent woman and you're working in this glitzy business and uh, you, you still retain a sense of dignity about you. Well, you really thank do. you. It's a dignified uh, business. Right. Uh, but I want to thank you for, uh, for uh, sharing uh, these special moments with us. Thank you, Gary. And maybe uh, later we can talk about beefing up your own resume. I could give you some pointers. That's a good point. Thank you very much.